Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. How to let go of anger and resentment. We all have negative things that happen to us. People betray us. A random person is rude for no reason. As a result, we end up walking around bitter, angry, and upset. The thing that we don't realize is that the longer we carry this baggage around, the longer it will weigh us down. The best thing we can do is drop that baggage now. Whether the betrayal happened 10 years ago or 10 minutes ago. Well, see, they betrayed me. They took advantage of me. They broke my heart. That's why I have all these resentment and anger with me. Are you just telling me to just let it go and tolerate the bad things that they do? My friend, they hurt you once or twice. Don't let them to continue hurting you by you thinking about it. As long as you keep dwelling on that, they will continuously hold you back from peace and the happiness that you deserve. What I've learned is that emotions do not give us good advice, especially on the tough times that we are in. Knowing this, you have to know how to control your emotions. You should not let your emotions dictate what you have to do. Yes, what they did stink. It was the worst that ever happened to you. I get it. I really do. You have the right to be angry. You have the right to feel the pain. And you know what? Regardless of how much you contemplate and think to yourself why they did what they did, you will never understand because you are not like them. We have different values and experiences in life. You will never know the reason why. These are just many things in life that you don't have answer for. And if you keep trying asking yourself, you will get stuck and be more frustrated. Of course, there is a wide scale of how extreme that could have been. The lesser scale where they yelled at you or said something bad about you all the way to the extreme of physical abuse and being continuously victimized by somebody. So here's what I want you to know. Being victimized, powerless, helpless is the reason why you are feeling that resentment. That's why you want to get even. You want to revenge because you are powerless and your initial response is to get your power back ASAP. But my friend, that is not the right way to get your power back. In fact, if you stay in a position of resentment, you will stay powerless because you will keep battling with this cycle of anger, resentment, and unhappiness. I know people who carry their resentment even what happened was 10 years ago. Guess what? The person who did you wrong could not care less about you. In fact, they're living their life without thinking about you. They couldn't care less about how you feel. They are now happy living their life without a single thought of you. Now, if you really want to get out of that powerless situation, I want you to shift your mindset. Are you ready for this? Okay, here it is. What I want to do is to equip you with the right mindset why you should let go of resentment. Now see, how can I get my power back? Here's the answer to this, my friends. Let it go. By letting go, you are positioning yourself to gain that power back. Letting go of that resentment frees you up. You are just about to drop that heavy burden that kept you stuck for so long. I want you to understand this, that letting go of that resentment is for your own self. You are not doing this to the person who did you wrong. What do I mean by this? So let's understand why do you feel that resentment? 
what causes the resentment? Resentment comes from a situation where you felt victimized, betrayed, or powerless. Someone did something to you that he or she shouldn't have done. It made you feel victimized and powerless. Look, when you let go of that burden of resentment, you start to welcome forgiveness, peace, and happiness. There is no way for all of these to get to you if you let resentment block all of them. You will get your power back by being able to control your emotion, let alone that situation. You now get to decide how the situation will affect you now and in the future. All right, what happened, happened. What you felt about it, you felt about it. What that person did to you happened. You have acknowledged that already. You went through the pain, the anger. And now, it's time for you to get your power back. Now, from here, from the new place that you are in, how would you go about it? From this, who do you want to be? How do you want to move forward? How long will you let this affect you? How can you take your power back and say, okay, this person did this terrible thing, but you know what? I want to get up. How can I take control? I want to get my power back. I am going to turn this situation into something positive. I am going to turn this into something that will make me learn and grow. I will use this to make me stronger and more capable. I am back and I am here to get my power back. So that's why I am moving forward. I am no longer going to allow this to make me feel bitter, angry, helpless, and powerless. I will let it go and get my power back by not letting it affect me ever again. I will take charge of my life, of how I feel, and how I will move forward. Keep your requests, your topics, comment down below. I create videos every week for my Coffee with C community, and your topic may be next. Until next time!